Hi, my name is uh, Fergal Costello. I'm the director of the short film Something Doesn't Feel Right, the horror comedy, and uh, I'm delighted it's showing at, in Rennes at uh, Court Mitterrand. So Something Doesn't Feel Right is a very affectionate uh, and kind of comedic look at slasher films uh, where we follow a slasher film, a slasher villain rather, called Zipface, who is uh, on his usual, you know, night of stalking and killing teens in a cabin in the woods, and he's just not particularly interested in doing it anymore. And he starts to wonder, maybe love is the answer, and he finds that no, love, you know, he likes killing people. He'll just stick with killing people. So the movie Something Doesn't Feel Right is a very affectionate uh, satire of uh, slasher films where we follow uh, one uh, such slasher killer called Zipface who's like Jason and Freddy Krueger and he's just going through the motions doing the same thing he's always done um, hunting and killing teens in the cabin in the woods and he's a bit tired of it now he's, he's not really into it anymore and we just kind of deal with what would happen if this guy who was this terrible nightmare um, actually had a bit of a heart and a bit of a conscience about what he was doing suddenly. But then, uh, yeah, and with, and with comedic results. Uh, I directed the piece. Uh, it's written by my really good friend, Jed Murray. Uh, we both share kind of a very um, passionate love for slasher movies and old school horror, like Slumber Party and um, anything with a cabin in the woods, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2 in particular is one of my favorite movies ever made. So yeah, we, we decided to take the tropes of the genre of film that we love so much and then turn it on its head and try and make it comedic and if we could a tiny bit sweet and emotional um, yeah so uh, I have always wanted to make films from a very young age uh, Peter Jackson was kind of my earliest influence because um, the Lord of the Rings just blew me away but uh, when I started learning about Lord of the Rings you inevitably uh, learn about Peter Jackson and, uh, and then you see his early work like Brain Dead and Bad Taste and Meet the Feebles and you notice quite quickly that he, he was very uh, just proactive in doing a lot of things on his own and that was very very inspiring for me so I kind of took that tact in, in making my initial short films. They were always genre based, always action movies or, or little remakes of movies I really liked um, but eventually I, started, I went to film school in, in Dublin in Ireland and in film school, I started making uh, comedy sketches, which got noticed by a comedy show, a comedy sketch show in Ireland called Republic of Telly. And eventually, I got a job there as a director, uh, directing sketches and editing and doing the VFX. And it was it was just a comprehensive film school in that um, you had to do everything, or else nothing would go on air. Um, but then, following that, I got some opportunities working on a few commercials. Um, I've always been making my own short films all all throughout this entire time. And eventually, um, I got the opportunity to pitch um, this project to Screen Ireland, who were very, um, were very lucky that they decided to fund the film. But then, since then, I've been working on um, I've, I've a sitcom series. I'm in prep now for BBC. That's an adaptation of a short film that was very fortunate to win a BAFTA. And then, coming out as well this year is uh, Nova Jones. Uh, it's a it's a sci-fi sitcom for kids that uh, was actually a delight to work on because I was all my stuff tends to have some kind of darkness or some kind of violent edge to it but this was delightful in that it was uh, just really lovely and calm and uh, quite quite sweet to work on so yeah so that's kind of a, a timeline of my career I suppose you know so the main influences on this film in particular were absolutely like 70s and 80s slasher movies like Friday the 13th series and um, Madman the movie Madman and uh, Prom Night those kind of cheesy but sweet, kind of very, very of their time slasher movies. But and then in general, um, my main my influences kind of they vary depending on what project I'm working on. Um, when I was make like all my stuff so far tends to be quite comedic, so I, I would always look to you know the old kind of masters and, and stand up comedians I quite enjoy and I'll try to figure out why is something funny, uh, which can be quite a kind of tedious when you're trying to figure out how to shoot something. But uh, in general, my general influences are always uh, Peter Jackson, uh, his kind of fearlessness and his uh, belief in himself and his willpower is something I, I, I quite uh, aspire to have, you know, th that level of just, he has this chutzpah and this eagerness to absolutely pursue something relentlessly, which I which I think is a really strong trait and something you need to, if you want to make stuff. And then it would come to, like, say, Steven Spielberg's artistry and his consistent... Uh, Never really makes the same film twice unless it's a sequel. Um, he, his influences seem myriad and his taste seems just uh, ever expanding and always just extraordinary to watch uh, this year. The level of craft that he that uh, he puts into his films. 
Um, and then the exuberance I love of Martin Scorsese and uh, the, the kind of the anarchic wildness of George Miller's films, um, the kind of satirical, uh, examinatory flavor that a lot of Wes Craven's work has, where it's a subversion as well as a um, propulsion and a thrusting forward of horror genre. He's, he's amazing at that. Um, so yeah, so like I, I look to them as kind of the old masters, and then when it comes to new influences, I'm, I'm really enjoying the Safdie brothers' work, um, elements of Ari Aster's work, and uh, yeah, and Greta Gerwig in particular, I think, is a wonderfully uh, empathetic filmmaker, and something I would kind of uh, the honesty with which she made Little Women was astonishing. I thought that was an incredible film. So yeah, they're they're kind of my main influence now at the moment. Movie audience, I really hope you enjoy the movie. Uh, we had such fun making it. It was it was uh, just a, a hilarious uh, experience uh, just to make something so silly and so uh, willfully strange. That was that was really delightful, and I think it kind of rubbed off on the film. And I, I really hope you enjoy the movie. And uh, it's not scary. He looks scary, but it's not scary at all. It's a comedy. So I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. I just wrapped a new short horror film called Haunted, which uh, start the intention is to start quite funny and end really scary. It follows a, a YouTuber who um, goes inside what is regarded as the most haunted uh, room on the planet, and he thinks it's not, it can't be, it can't be true, but it definitely is true, and it's super scary. So I just finished, I just wrapped that, and then uh, I just wrapped a new sci-fi sitcom for kids for BBC called Nova Jones that will be coming out uh, in September. So it could be out already by the time you watch this video. And then I'm going to prep now on Braining Gear, this um, sitcom for BBC as well. That's an adaptation of a short film I, I was happy to direct uh, two years ago. So it's been a long journey to get it to the starting line, but we're here now, and yeah, we can't wait to get going. So that's what's coming up next, and very, very fortunate to have something like that ready to go. Uh, any anecdotes about something that doesn't feel right? Um, it was super cold when we filmed. <laughs> um, no, uh Tony, who plays Zipface, Tony Cantwell, a very, very famous comedian in Ireland, he was kind of, we wanted Tony, we wanted Zipface to be this kind of bruising Hulk like Jason is in the, in the Friday the 13th movies. So Zipface looks nothing like Tony in the physiology of him because um, his, his shoulders are stuffed with this kind of shit with these shoulder pads. His chest is bulked up with this kind of cushion sponging. And then he's on lifts for his shoes as well. He's on six-inch lifts that add basically, you know, half a ruler to his height um but yeah so it's, it's kind of interesting when you watch it back you're like that looks nothing like tony especially if you know him um but it's but his performance is just so good and, and it really has his energy it has his comedic energy so he's just a really strong uh, physical comedic performer and uh, yeah that, that was really interesting and i'm just trying to think of anything else no it was really well planned it was it was a very well produced piece by fiona kinsler like she she really produced the hell out of it so um Usually the anecdotes come, to, come from something going wrong, whereas in this case we were fortunate nothing went wrong. So, um, well, uh, maybe you don't like the film, and that would be pretty that would be pretty bad. That's something going wrong. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks so much.